how detrimental is the weather to the crop? I think it's still uh, early times and especially in the north where you have the five rivers flowing out of the glacier melting mountains. Um, Basmati rice which makes for majority of our business uh, should not be impacted. Reason being it uses less water uh, than ordinary rice and as a matter of fact in the state of Punjab even uh, the religious institutions have been guiding uh, the farmers to plant more of that. Um, and uh, like I heard you guys say right now, 4% decrease, I think that's uh, still a long way off to be actualized. And any rainfall which would come in even on the later part would make up for it. Reason being, rice is a transplanted crop. So as we sit right now, the transplantation process is just about beginning. So, and secondly, a majority of India does have a good water system and uh, the deficient areas definitely are rainfall dependent but those are going down so I think there is right now there is uh, very low concern um, and I would not put an alarmist view on that at all when we talk about Amira of course we have to talk about the elephant in the room the allegations of corruption of the misuse of uh, company funds by the CEO of accused of overstating the Basmati rice revenue by more than 116 percent in 2014 which of these allegations is true or not I think we made our statement very clear on that. Uh, we believe all these allegations are baseless. There is a uh, the matter in court, so I'm restricted on my ability to answer that. However, the, our facts speak for ourselves. Our sales are where they are. Our products sit on all the shelves we have spoken about. And uh, we are a real company with real revenues and real products. As a matter of fact, even in the last one year, right here in the UK, we have our brand Amira sitting in Tesco, Waitrose, Asda and Morrisons and doing very well. We've added many new countries uh, even in the US where uh, we are listed but our sales are just two odd percent. Mm -hmm. in, recently we've announced major uh, tie-ups with UNFI, with Crossmark, Publix, major supermarket chain. So it's business as usual. It's, this is this I believe is just a process in the US of making your own space. After all, we are one of very few companies from the emerging markets to IPO in the American space.